How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Writing the questions. Writing the questions. Week one, what, what are your impressions of uh, the future for? Like always, good, bad, ugly, you know. Uh, some really good things, some good plays by kids, some good execution. And then, you know, the bad, like always, busted assignments. And uh, when you quit on plays, that's the ugly. As long as you don't quit on a play, you know, you can make up for it and maybe get the guy down and go to the next set of uh, series. But uh, it's about like expected, putting a lot of stuff in. The offense puts a lot of stuff in, and it's just kind of, you know, guys messing up because they haven't seen something before, but that's just all part of it. Could you talk a little bit about the, the cornerback position mm -hmm. where – uh, where DeCorey Couch fits in. I think he's playing on the outside. Yeah, he's now. playing on the outside as well. Uh, we're going to move him, start playing him a little bit of nickel uh, on tomorrow. So he hasn't played a lot of nickel yet, uh, star position, but he'll start playing some of the more. The Richard kid will end up leaving him at the corner for a couple days. He's doing really well, uh, along with the Brown brothers, both of them. So we've got a lot of choices to choose from. And uh, also the Davis kid is playing the star, the solid position, probably the best right now. So. Uh, it's been good. We have a lot of different guys we can plug and play, which is awesome. Up front, I want to ask about Nigel e. Kelly. Has mm -hmm. he, you're smiling, which is a good sign for him. Uh, has he stood out already a little bit? It's been a bunch of guys stood out up front. You know, a bunch of guys getting to the quarterback. Uh, today was one of our better days of stopping the run, uh, which is non-negotiable. You got to be able to stop the run better than we did today. Uh, but yeah, they're getting after it. I think we're rushing the passer really well for the most part, playing the run well. Today just wasn't a good day for us. Coach, building off of that, you know, the young guys, you know, Ruben Bain, Jaden Wayne, you know, Bain really impressed mm -hmm. in that spring game. What have your thoughts been of these freshmen, you know, coming in so far and how have they done so far? Uh, Bain is consistent against the run and pass. Of course, he's still got a lot to learn, but uh, I expect him to play a lot. Jaden Wayne, it's up and down, plays like a freshman, of course. Uh, but he's done some good things as well. Najalik's still young as well. So that's the three young guys that, like, really stand out that will be deep in the rotation, if not the starters. James and, and Cam are obviously, like, you know, starting safeties. Are, they're both great players. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from the, the safeties behind them? Uh, kind of up and down. Harris has had a really good camp so far. Uh, he's got a couple of interceptions. He probably plays the ball the best. I think North Keith Williams probably knows the defense a little bit better than he does right now. Uh, but Harris has made a bunch of plays already, which is good to see. Coach, you said today, not necessarily your, your best day run-wise? No, not run? against the run. Yeah, we had some big runs. A uh, couple times we got cut out of some gaps, uh, really because we weren't attacking the blocks. And then uh, sometimes they got on the perimeter, and they kind of cut the DB out of the uh, run fit, and uh, that can't happen. So, But good for the offense. They've been struggling a little bit at times running the ball. Today was a good day for them, uh, which was awesome. You want that. You want a back-and-forth battle. You don't want it to be one way or the other. Uh, but when you look at film, you can tell if it's a busted assignment. If it's not a busted assignment, and they just whipped you on the block, then that's a good thing. What is the biggest thing you're able to identify when you're not full pads as a defense? I know being physical is so important, but when you're not in full pads, what are the things you're evaluating? Practice? Well, it's just hard to evaluate how good of a tackling team you are. You know, you have to get in there and have good posture as you play, have your pads down and all that, but until you start taking people to the ground, you really don't know if you're a good tackling team yet. So, And we're not going to get a lot of that. Uh, you will have some scrimmages, which will be live, of course, and then you go into the first game and you just got to tackle. Well, you got to get a bunch of numbers to the football. If you got a bunch of guys running hard, playing hard, getting to the ball, you usually tackle well. How is the competition between KJ Floyd and Wesley playing? Oh, it's, it's a competition all in that backer role, you know, and we've been plugging and playing a bunch of different guys. So um, as we get into full pads and get a little bit further along and start installing more, they'll probably start to separate themselves. Because in the course of a game, things change. So you got to identify plays and you got to rely on past experiences. And that's where probably KJ is probably going to, you know, catch up or beat some of the guys because he's just played a lot of reps. Corey Flagg. Corey Flagg's playing really well. Uh, in the spring, he had a little bit of foot injury and wasn't moving around well, but he's probably, out of all of them, probably looked the best in the fall compared to the spring. He's had probably the biggest improvement, but the foot was holding him back in the spring. But um, Kiko is still playing really well, you know, cool. at the back. Defense-wise, you obviously play a lot different style than what they're used to last year. You mm -hmm. got it in the spring and all that. Um, I was curious, do you feel like you can run anything you want at this point, or is it still like, you know, like what percent can you run right now that you'd be really comfortable, hey, they all know what to do on this play? Uh, we're probably at about 75% of what we put in, but we're gonna keep adding and just throw it all on the wall and see what sticks and then see what they do best. You know, is it blitzing? Is it sitting there playing man-free? Is it sitting there playing zone? Uh, right now, it looks like they like the pressure. 
you know, they like to disrupt, which is so different than last year. So I think they're more comfortable when they're attacking and not sitting there waiting. But we'll see. And sometimes it depends on who you play and what you want to do. So, But it looks like blitzing them and getting them started is what they like to do. Uh, when we talked to Jafari a couple of days ago, he mentioned playing the jack role. Um, just what is, what is that? Can you explain more about that role in your defense? Uh, jack is more of the uh, – the end that does a lot of dropping. Uh, he's a pass rusher, but he does play the run, but it's really built for more athletic defensive ends. The ones to the field is kind of the big guys. They got to play a, a four eye a little bit, and that's where Mesador and all those guys are at. Bang, that's where he plays. But Najalik and then uh, all the rest of the guys, that's where they play. The, the slender guys, we put them in bound. The, the D linemen talk a lot about movement, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious, just generally speaking, is that pre snap movement? Like, is Both. Both. We tried to change up protections uh, for the offense and run schemes by going from a four down to an odd, an odd to a four down. We haven't got to bear yet. We're going to get in bear. And then from that, when the ball snap, moving and stunning. So it's a lot on the offense, a lot on offensive linemen for protection. And I think that's why they probably cut a couple guys loose at times. But really not trying to get anybody to jump off sides. Just trying to change up their rules and then moving right back to maybe where it came from. So, uh, doing as much as we can just to confuse the old lineman and the quarterback. Coach, how do you think the freshman linebackers are coming along so far this fall? It's a lot for them. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, you know, each play and each day is a different thing for them because they're trying to learn what we're doing, but then offensive, they're trying to adjust to college football, and then they're seeing all that stuff on the other side of them. It's just hard for young freshmen at linebacker and safeties to play because that's the brain trust of the defense, and you got to make all the checks, and you got to be right. You know, so it takes a little time. We won't know about them, which one uh, will be able to help us yet. How has Damari's first week at this level been? Uh, at times it looks like he's been here a while, you know, and at other times he looks like a true freshman. So uh, the both Brown boys are doing well. Uh, they both have the same demeanor. They don't get too up, too down, which is good at the corner. You don't want them too emotional. And uh, But they both have great intangibles. Uh, the older Brown kid, runs really fast it's really fast the other one is probably a little bit moves probably a little better in and out of breaks but they're both tall uh and big corners which you want thank you very much thank, thank you all thank appreciate you. it mm -hmm.